Hello, my name is Mark and I've started doing an online physics course with Pembrokeshire College. I thought it might be helpful to share some of my experiences I'm going along and doing this course as it'll help me to consolidate my knowledge and maybe it'll help one or two people. I'm not a physics teacher by any manner or means, so bear with me if I make the occasional mistake. So, here we go. The first question um, in my book on A-Level Physics called, appropriately enough, A-Level Physics fourth edition by Roger Muncaster. Uh, the first set of questions are about finding the resultants of two forces. And the first question on page 7, 1a, uh, question 1a, is to work out the resultant of a force of 7 newtons and a force at right angles to it of 24 newtons. Now, from the parallelogram rule, we can say that the resultant of those two forces, if we draw a parallelogram of these forces, that would be 24 as well, that's 7. The resultant is the one that goes from this corner to that corner, and let's call that R. And let's call the angle that it makes to the 24 newton force theta. Then from Pythagoras's rule, we can say that r squared equals 24 squared plus 7 squared, which is equal to 625. And so r is equal to the square root of 625, which is 25. Now we need to work out what theta is. Uh, tan theta is equal to 7, it's the opposite, over the adjacent, which is 24, which is 0 0.2916 recurring. If we round that up to four significant figures, we have 0.2916, sorry, 0 0.2917. Just that out. 0.2917. And if we take the arc tan of that, tan to the minus 1 of 0.2917, we get 16.26 degrees. So theta equals. 16.26 and r equals 25. Right, in the next question, we've got uh, a force of 20 newtons at 60 degrees to a force of 30 newtons. Now, because that's not a right angle, we need to invoke a couple of other trigonometry rules which will help us to calculate r and theta. So I'll be doing that in my next video. Thanks very much.